Alright, so uh, the main purpose of this video is to show you how I'm going to use Ableton and the MPC together, um, syncing it with the MIDI clock, and um, kind of using both to jam on top of each other. So adding additional drums on top of uh, Ableton sequences, or using Ableton to sequence or play out samples on top of MPC sequences that I've built. Either way, um, they're both running at the same tempo. So both sequences lock together. So uh, the important part about this process is the sync on the MPC. So you can see the sync section right here. Right now it's on, um, but uh, when you go uh, to the sync section, it's most probably going to be off. So the first thing you want to do is hit the window button here. And when you hit the window button, you're going to get uh, this pop-up window. This pop-up window is crucial to setting up the MPC with Ableton. So it's probably going to be off, um, and who knows what will be selected or unselected, but this is what um, I do. Um, first I come into the mode, and we're going to use MIDI clock. That keeps the tempo in mind first. Sync in. Um, set to MIDI 1. That's where my clock is uh, coming from. Out of Ableton, out of the Ableton uh, MIDI clock into my MIDI 1 in back of the MPC. So um, I'm going to set that at 1. Uh, frame rate I'll leave at 30. I mean this is the frame rate in the sequence. Uh, the frame rate is more for time code based um, syncs where the clock doesn't really use time code. Not to my knowledge, at least. Um, and um, I turn on the receive control. Um, make sure sync is on here. We most probably will be. Just make sure. And um, should be good to go there. Alright, so after we set up the MPC, we're going to uh, kind of change gears over to the Ableton machine. Um, which is the second sequencer that we use um, we do live PAs and things um, so the way we connect them is using this um, USB MIDI sport uh, if you can see that um, so that's a really cool uh, way to get your um, MIDI clock uh, from either the computer to Ableton or the computer to outboard gear like the uh, MPC or a drum machine or a synthesizer or the other way around so we're taking the approach of using um, Ableton to uh, control the clock a lot of people say that the clock on the MPC is better but uh, we've had more luck with the, the uh, Ableton clock Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick little jam uh, using Ableton, uh, the MPC 4000 that has sequences built. Uh, I'm not going to really build anything live, I'll do that next time, um, but you probably don't want to sit there and watch me build shit live, so uh, I've pre-recorded a bunch of stuff, um, including a bass line I wrote, which is going to be in this square here. Um, it's something like that, and that is coming from this guy. Um, so I'll be able to tweak him out and um, turn him up and down and all around, all that good shit. <clears throat> um, and that bass line matches something that I've written in Ableton and uh, played around with on the airplane to give it a nice and crunchy sound. I had a lot of time to sit there and mess around with it. So um, I'll just start the sequence in Ableton. All my tracks on the MPC are muted, so nothing coming out of the MPC. When I start Ableton, the MPC all starts up with Ableton. So that play button is on. So it's running, it's ready to go. So I'm just going to kind of sequence some stuff together. And if you notice in the bottom left hand corner here, you'll see effects are down here. They're always fun to play with live, so I'm just going to start my sequence in live.
And then I'm going to start my second track, and then I'm just going to go. It's the effects down here. Let's go over to the NPC. And trigger some. Then on the second beat. Now this is working together. And then the bass line here. That's it.